And do you remember what it was like to have a microphone for the first time? It was pretty cool. <laughs> I, liked, I liked it a lot. It was, it was fun. I didn't really know all the words, so I just sing like whatever I knew. Yeah. Yeah. But it was fun and something that you wanted to do again. Yeah. And now you're a performer. Mm-hmm. That, well, clearly he was a performer then. Did you recognize that there was star quality when he got up and sang that time? You see that in so many people. I think you have a special gift to be able to see that and Thank see where, where, the, where the talent is. But obviously you remembered it, so there must have been something about this little guy that then sprouted into a tall guy that impressed you. I think I mean, what our work is all about is finding that thing, whether it's music or acting or with my son gardening, but what is that thing that gets us excited? What is it? Where's our joy? Mm -hmm. And so I do, and thank you, I do pride myself in being able to tune in to knowing and, and sensing where that joy is. And I saw Kobe's eyes light up when he started talking about singing. Wow. And Amazing. so that was really, it was, and you were so extraordinary. Uh, yeah. Just You get a sense from people that, that ha well, everyone has something special. Yes. And I just got the sense that, that you could do it. And uh, you did. You blew us away. <laughs> you really blew us away. Yeah. <laughs> As you do now. So Kobe started out in, in our classes at, at the help group, and he was in our beginning level classes, taking on more and more responsibility, learning parts, roles. You even did a character with a British accent. Yeah. So <laughs> we invited him last summer to join our advanced group. We only invited a few people wow. that are focused and disciplined and right. Remember that the recording camp you did last summer? Yeah. And uh, do you want to talk about that? What, the performing a recording in the studio? What was that like? It was really cool. It was like I was actually like a singer. Like it was really um, it was cool. Like we sat down and like we were practicing and and like we and, and like we had our own green room. It was pretty cool. I, I I love hearing you talk about it in that way because what what a wonderful opportunity and not everybody has that opportunity but. Um, when we can give that opportunity to a young person and see them blossom, what a wonderful thing. What has this meant to you, having him involved with the Miracle Project? You know, to see Kobe, uh, our kids on the spectrum don't typically get to be a part of theater or groups or sports. Mm -hmm. And that as a parent, sometimes we, um, God, I don't want to get emotional, sometimes you mourn that loss in a different way. Yeah. And so for Kobe, we've always said he can do anything he wants, we're going to help him, we'll find a way. So when he started singing, and he's loved to sing since he was really little, but to be able to see him get up on stage and be an individual and be himself and not be, you know, the kid in the school play that's in the corner with the aide and they're kind of pushing him on the side because he might be stimming. To be able to put him, you know, up and, mm -hmm. to, and Coach E and all of her amazing Miracle Project people have always given each person a spotlight and for Kobe who's not a spotlight kid but to be able to have that and to feel confident and be a part of a group and to have now friends from this group where he's not a child who's really ever had friends so f to see him perform and succeed and have friends and feel like he's doing something important and good and something that makes him happy it's more than you can even imagine. It's a um, wonderful thing. It really and is. And now you're a part of the performance that's happening tomorrow night, correct? Yes. Uh, we've been talking about that all this week. at the. It's Autism Rocks LA at the Universal City Walk stage. It's a big stage with a big screen. I mean, this is a big, big opportunity. Are you excited? Really excited. And, w and what do you guys, do you know, is it a secret? Are we allowed to talk about what they're going to be singing? Yeah, okay. and actually we're going to bring one of our other performers on, and okay. they're going to maybe give you a little hint of some of the songs okay. they're doing. Is that All cool? Right. That's very cool. I so was going to comment on what Rachel was saying. Yes, is go ahead. having supportive parents who really tune into their, their child's gifts and talents, and more than anything, their interests. And, and you and your husband have been so supportive of everything that we do. I mean, they're always on time. They're always there, always helping. Uh, Rachel did the video. She's also yeah. our social media expert. <laughs> and um, just 
always just so so wonderfully supportive. So wonderful. I really want to give you thank you tremendous appreciation. You. Back thank to you. our video thank Absolutely. you of autism appreciation. Yes. So. And, and I want to say because I know that there are people who are probably watching and going, "Wow, look at this amazing young man!" and "Wow, look at this amazing opportunity." Mm, I don't have it where I live, right? A couple of things that I want to say to those of you who are feeling, because we can all get into that pity part about, well, you know, I don't have the Miracle Project in my town. But the truth of the matter is, is you could. Yeah. Right. The truth of the matter is the Miracle Project goes to two different places in the country or in the world mm -hmm. a year mm -hmm. and trains people how to do the Miracle Project. And that's something that you could make happen. Yes, that's um, true. But you have to request it. You can't just expect that the Miracle Project is going to knock on your door and go, hi, I hear you might need something. Um, um, but where would they go, Coach E, to, to start that process? So they can go, um, they can email me, okay. Elaine at themiracleproject.org. That's Elaine at themiracleproject.org if you're interested. And I'll set up a, a phone consult and okay. we'll discuss how to do that. Um, next fall in September, we're going to be doing a certification program through Brown University. Okay. So there are people who could begin the process of getting certified. And uh, we'll be at the Autism Society um, conference, the big conference in New Orleans we're this going. year. We'll it's be good. there too. Oh, fantastic! Yes, we'll we're going to have there. some fun. Even Jem is going. Oh, fantastic! My go. Oh, yeah. fantastic! So we'll, we'll see you there. Wonderful. And um, then Autism Speaks has presented us with certain grants, and so uh, we can we can also speak about how to um, to get grants through Autism Speaks within your own community. Okay.